Today is the day college basketball fans have been waiting for the NCAA tournament. 64 teams looking to be the last one standing. The University of Maryland Terrapins and the West Virginia University Mountaineers kick things off this afternoon. CBS Sports senior writer Matt Norlander joins us now. Hey there, Matt. Um, uh, my, back, my brackets are always busted really early because I'm always looking for Cinderella stories. I'm always looking for upsets. Give me some hope. What lower seed uh, teams do you think might actually bust other people's brackets this year? Well, I'm going to put my name on the line. And uh, Lana, Elaine, it's great to be with both of you. Oral Roberts, I have going to the Sweet 16 from the 12 line, and that is in the East region. So I, that means I have Oral Roberts beating Duke, what? fifth seeded Duke. <laughs> now, Duke has not been seeded as low as five since 2007. It's obviously under first year coach John Shire. Oral Roberts, two years ago, as a 15 seed. Made the Sweet 16. Yeah. I've got him doing that again. Now, this team is better than that team from two years ago. It also has a seven foot four dude on this roster that wasn't there two years ago named Connor Vanover. In addition to one of the best scorers in the country, Max A. Smith, he was a huge part of their run. So, Oral Roberts is my Cinderella pick. And then also, I've got Kent State beating Indiana on Friday in Albany. I will be in the house in Albany. Kent State's a 13 seed out of the MAC. The Golden Flash is taking down the Indiana Hoosiers. So, yes, I have two blue blood programs as victims to Cinderella here in uh, in the next two days. I can just imagine my Duke friends uh, spitting out the TV at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, Matt, this year's number one seeds are Alabama, Purdue, Houston, and Kansas. All had dominant seasons. Who has the hardest path to the Final Four? Yeah, this is a consensus. I don't think you'll find anyone in college troops media that would disagree with it being Kansas uh, for a couple of reasons. One, Kansas is, a, is in a region where one, it, if it gets to the second weekend, it will have to go west to Las Vegas as opposed to being able to play in Kansas City, which is one of the regionals. Also, Kansas's head coach, Bill Self, he's not going to coach the first round game against Howard because he recently had two stents installed after undergoing a cardiovascular procedure. School said it was not a heart attack, but, you know, the, a preventative measure. So we don't know when Bill Self will coach. I mean, he might coach in two days if Kansas advances. And on top of all that, the West is undeniably the most stacked region. It has the most good teams, five of the top 12 teams in the country per those nerdy analytic metrics, which do reveal a lot. Five of the 12 best are in one region. It's Kansas's region. So, and, and even beyond that, if Kansas wins and plays Arkansas, Arkansas is not one of those five of the top 12, but guess what? Arkansas has two future top 10 to 12 NBA picks on its team and is a really good defensive team. So Kansas has the toughest road. Doesn't mean it can't get there. Reigning national champions, but it is least likely of the four one seeds to break on through to Houston. All right. Major important question. Iowa versus Auburn. I'm going Iowa. Yes. I, I don't know which way you're leading me. Okay, you got the Iowa colors. Now, I just real quick on that. Auburn has never lost a first round game in program history. So I'm going against the grain with that. Uh, Auburn's literally never lost the first round tournament game, but Iowa has the best player on the floor. Chris Murray's awesome. I like the Hawkeyes to get it Love done. It. Everything's changed since the, Fran McCaffrey stared down a referee like three weeks ago and it completely changed the course of their right, season. Matt, so who, I will go with the who's Hawkeyes. Who's going to win it all? Real quick. You, Houston's going to win it all. I got a storybook ending. I'll be quick on this. Houston has been the best team in the sport, has the best defense, has a future NBA lottery pick. It's got Kelvin Sampson, what, a top five coach. They were in the final four two years ago. They were in the Elite Eight last year. They are the best team in the sport. And I do have storybook. Houston winning it in Houston. We haven't had a team win the national championship in its home city. And Jim Nance on the call. Final CBS call for the tournament. Wow. Houston alumnus Jim Nance on the microphone. <laughs> Best storybook ending. That's a I've got nice the story. Cougars cutting down the nets. Storybook right. indeed. Well done, Matt Norlander. Matt, thank you.